Hi, I'm Charles Martinet, but I think you might recognize me better as Mario. Woohoo! And Wario, have a rotten day. And Luigi, and uh, when Luigi, everybody cheat but me. And baby Luigi, and baby Mario too. Woohoo! And I've come to Brazil to meet fabulous Mario fans here in Brazil. <laughs> One day, a friend of mine calls up and says, you should go do this audition for this trade show. And I said, sure, what's a trade show? Well, you know, you go and you, 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 it's just like acting, but it's a trade show, but this is different and it's in Las Vegas, so you should do that. And so I, I went and I did this audition and, and uh, I, I, I knocked on the door and opened the door and the producer was there, the camera was already put away. And, and and I said, well, can I can I please just read for this character thing? And he said, and he goes, oh, all right, okay. Uh, listen, we're doing this sort of virtual reality thing, so you're gonna have these things glued to your face, and there's kind of cartoon character there, and he's gonna move his, you know, when you move, you know, hello, 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 he's gonna go hello, hello, hello. So you're gonna talk to people all day, and then you know, uh, make up a voice and make up a video game. This guy's name is like Mario, and he's like a plumber. So just do whatever you want, you know, plumber from Brooklyn. And I hear, action! And I turned to the camera and I said in the voice that you hear today, Hello, it's a Mario. Okie dokie, let's make a pizza pie together. You go get some sausage, I get some spaghetti. We put spaghetti and the sausage in the pizza. Then I'm gonna chase you with the pizza. And then I'm gonna catch you with the pizza. Then you gotta chase me with the pizza. Then I'm gonna make a lasagna. Then we're gonna chase you with the lasagna. And I, I just, I don't know what I said, but I just kept talking and talking and talking. And I, 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 I suddenly heard, cut, stop. We're, you, we're run, you've run out of tape. That's, that's it, thank you very much. Uh, nice audition, we'll be in touch. And I said, well, thank you very much. And that, <laughs> thinking, that's it, the kiss of death. I'll never get this job because they never say to an actor, that was nice, we'll call you, you know, never. So uh, sure enough, I left and, and this producer got on the phone, Ralph Miller was his name, and he called up Don James at Nintendo and said, I found our Mario. And my tape was the only tape th th that they sent up to Nintendo. And, and Mr. Miyamoto heard it and said, yes, I like that. And, and that was uh, the happiest day of my life, or the beginning of the happiest time of my life. <laughs> Each game takes a different amount of voice because uh, some games with, with more characters, of course, it, you know, you have to do that, that voice for each character. And some games are smaller. And of course, you know, for, the, for some games, the, uh, like a, a handheld platform like the DS might have less voice in it than, than a, a Wii game. And you know, going back to the, all the way back to the N64. So it's, uh, it always ranges. I fly up to Seattle or sometimes, you know, I once flew to Japan and did five games uh, in Japan in Osaka and uh, Tokyo, which was just wonderful fun. And, uh, but I arrive and we usually do something like have sushi for lunch, which is my favorite food, <laughs> or one of my favorite foods. I love food, but it's one of my favorite traditions to go there. We have sushi, we look at the scripts and we study the scripts and we look at the actions that are gonna be in the game because each game has new actions and new fun things that are happening. So we get a sense of like how long it is to go, wahoo, you know, or, yep, yep, wah, or you know, oh, you know, what, whatever we're putting into the, the games. And we have a script, and then we also have time to improvise afterwards, you know, which is great because out of uh, little things of improvisation comes really fun things. I remember in um, uh, Mario 64, when you put down the, the controls, we were talking about what, what, you know, what happens when you put down the control and you want to encourage the, the player to play or, you know, or, uh-oh, I guess he's not going to play. And somehow, I don't know who it was, but all of a sudden we came up with spaghetti, ravioli, mamma mia. You know, and that's sort of like, it's stuck, you know? So it's, it's really, every session is, is wonderful fun. And it ranges from a half a day to four days, I think, mostly. It can be a little bit longer. I, I'm proud of all of the Mario games because I feel like they touch people in a very nice way. 
that people get joy from it and, and pleasure from it. I can tell you, voicing Mario Galaxy was particularly fun in the action of it. And Mario Kart, doing that, I, I did two of those in Japan. There was something so fun about being in the studio with the people that, that had thought of it and drew it and, and produced it and were directing it and they knew exactly what, what they wanted. And Smash Brothers Brawl too. That the producers were like so full of passion and joy for the, for the game that we were making in that moment that just being in those studios in those moments for those things, absolutely unforgettable. <laughs> Obrigado a todos os fans do Mario em Brasil. Yeah, like uh -huh. something like that. Vocês, Vocês são o máximo. Vocês são o máximo. I'm never going to remember that. Vocês o máximo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Good. Was it close? It was close. <laughs> Vocês Vocês, vocês são o máximo! Uhul! <laughs>